What is up guys? My name is Winster. Welcome back to the channel. You already know what it is. It's time to make our list for the end of the year. Before we get into this list, before that occurs, make sure that you guys smash the subscribe button. It helps out the channel. It keeps you guys updated on what's going on. Also, what else is going to keep you updated is if you turn those notifications on for the channel. It's a simple, it's, it's real quick. You can go ahead and do it right now. But with that out of the way, let's get into today's video. It's crazy to think that 2018 is almost over. It feels like it just started, just like last week or something. But so much has transpired for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, and I definitely understand it isn't in the best place right now. However, it is nothing short of great, and also has potential to have some of the hypest moments. And that's what we're going to be talking about. My top five hypest moments for Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite for the year of 2018. Now, first off, I wanted to start off where the hype started for me, probably one of the best. CJA versus Dual Kevin past the original 2018 was a highlight. So much happened at the event. The US's best player, Dual Kevin, or arguably best player, was gonna face off versus Japan's best player. There was so much hype and build up from both sides. Dual Kevin winning every event that he goes to, if not getting second or third, has the best defense. And I remember at the event, hyping himself up, this shit is gonna be free, I'm gonna fuck him up, I'm gonna free him up. And I remember him going onto Twitter, talking that good shit. And believe me guys, believe me, I was for freedom. I was for freedom that day. I was Team Duel Kevin, no doubt. It was mostly because it's America, but Duel Kevin, I liked his play, I liked how he played, I like his defense. He was just overall a, overall a great player. Now, in the same note, there was also a lot of buildup on CJ's side. A lot of people were coming in, hey, like, you guys don't know how good CJA is. A great, a great spokesman for CJA was your boy Ruin. Ruin was talking that shit. He was like, yo, this shit is going to be free. You guys don't know how good CJ is. And I was like, what are you talking about? This is this is America. This is freedom. There's no way we're gonna lose. And I was all I was all for the America train. And there was a lot of side bets going on. I had a good friend of mine have a lot of money invested in Dual Kevin. As soon as the first of 15 started up, we were feeling good. I had my buddies next to me. Probably this is why one of it's one of the hypest moments for me personally. My buddies were next to me, Armando, Nam. Not soy, surge. We're all having a good time. There was alcohol, snake tits was loud. Like this shit is gonna be free. And the set started to happen. And CJ CJ was looking looking mighty nice. He was fucking dual Kevin up. And we all come to find out. If you don't know, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little bit of a spoiler. CJ fucked dual Kevin up. Now, it wasn't just your regular, like, you know, 10 to 15. It, it, was, it was 4 to 50. I was like, Dual Kevin, you, you fucking up right now, man. And he got fucking washed. Now, no disrespects to Dual Kevin. Dual Kevin, phenomenal player. Don't get me wrong, but CJA was that much more of a phenomenal player than Dual Kevin was. We were not ready. My friend was salty because he lost a good amount of money. It hurt him, but I remember watching it unfold, the chaoticness of what was going on the stream, us not being ready for CJ, my buddies just yelling, like, what is going on? We weren't ready. And that's why that's probably one of the hypest moments for me personally. What do you do when you are from a foreign country, you've been winning every event that you attend, Evil Japan, KVO, or KOV, whatever the tournament is called, winning every major event that Marvel's Cup Club Infinite's at, you get flown out, you gotta go to the America's biggest event. You gotta go to EVO, and that's exactly what CJA did. We weren't sure if he was gonna go, um, or at least I didn't, but when I found out he was, it was GG's. It's time to really put this guy in the dirt. We're not gonna take another L. You gave us a big L already. Now you have to face everyone that's anyone in the world now. Now it's time to play. And CJ wasn't having it. He was like, nah, I'd rather not take this L. And he fucked everyone up. And the reason that this is on the list is because it humbled everyone. Even though that the Marvel vs. Capcom community has always been competitive, 
we've always been very America has always been very dominant in the game it's nice to see that we can still be humble and appreciate what CJ is capable of or what any player is capable of for that matter at the event CJ won goes without saying and we still come together I remember when they announced CJ your winner for you know Evo everyone's clapping everyone was hype even though we were put into body bag it reignited us to continue to play co to continue to support this game appreciate it for what it is I was hype it was a good moment and it was a great moment for the community now staying in that same domain Evo Marvel vs Capcom what is it without a salty sweet Salty Sweet has always been part of the Marvel vs. Capcom community. I don't know if it's been part of all the other communities, but it's been a staple here. If you lose in pools, you're gonna run it back at the Salty Sweet. If you don't like someone, you finna run it at the Salty Sweet. Now, if there's just some highlights that people want to play, you know, a first to ten with this top player and this other top player, you finna run it at the Salty Sweet. Now, on top of that. Marvel vs. Capcom players, very loud and have huge egos, have a lot of pride. It's time to loosen up with some alcohol. You mix alcohol into the Salty Sweet, it's GG's. People are going to get lit, people are going to get upset, and people love to talk that shit. At this year's was no different. There was a lot going on. They were playing literal rock, paper, scissors, loser takes a shot. And that's, that's the nature of Marvel vs. Capcom players, or any fighting game players to be exact. That's our nature. We we are super competitive. We always want to know that we could beat something and whatever it is. We're literally doing rock, paper, scissors. Loser takes a shot. And it's nice to see after the biggest L that we took, CJ still came in and played with us. Still still showing that like, hey, you know, I want to support. I want to play. Let's play. And that's what he did. He played everyone. I played him. We still came together as a community to support our game, our favorite game at that. We could still come together in this community and show support. We still managed to do it without the support of Capcom. And that's why the Salty Suite holds a very special place in me. Even though we lost, we still came together. Now, I wanted to talk to you guys about a great rivalry that happened from our Capcom Infinite that any community needs. And that's Tyson versus Knives at CEO and CEO Taku. Now at CEO, Knives was in losers and Tyson was in winners. And Knives reset the bracket and won the event. Now it's crazy to think that the exact same thing happened at CEO Taku where Knives and Tyson were in grand finals, but Tyson and Knives still reset the bracket. But Tyson managed to pull out the win there. Even managed to spawn like a highlight reel of the games. Someone put together and added some great like visuals and added some great music. I don't know who made the video, but it was a great video. And it really highlighted what was going on. Now Tyson and Knives are really great players in their own respect. But their little rivalry that transpired between these two events really brought a lot of the community together. Unfortunately, I wasn't there at those events, but a good friend of mine was and he experienced it on his own and seeing that rivalry uh, Seeing them compete at the highest level possible is great and a community needs that and I remember watching the event because I wasn't able to attend Watching both events. I'm like man like Tyson and knives are really going back and forth You know, I don't know if Knives is gonna be able to pull it off and he does fast forward to the CEO Taku same match, same grand final, same reset. Knives is just, you know, Tyson's kryptonite. He's not going to be able to pull it off. And he pulls it off. And then the commentary was on point on top of that. And a reason why this is on my actual list, because it was just more than the, just the rivalry. The event itself, from what I saw, from what I experienced from watching the stream, was put together great. You know, we're a main title. Uh, we had plenty of stream time. There are a lot of players in the bracket. And on top of that, we weren't just some throwaway tournament, some side tournament that an event was having. We're a mean title game. And it showed what happens when you invest into Marvel's Capcom Infinite. You know, you have a lot of players come out at both events. And it's great to see that we still have the ability uh, to pull off such feat. And it was it was all thanks to the community and Jabali putting everything together. 
He made a great event, made us feel important, and we put a show on for the community. Last on the list is one that kind of breaks the rules, but I'm going to throw it in anyways. A good friend of mine, you guys know him as Ninjanon or Ninjanon15 or Nam, how you guys pronounce it. But to me, he's Namcha. He's Nam, a good friend of mine, training partner. Uh, and seeing my friend make multiple top eights at that, at a game that he's always wanted to be good in, and uh, seeing him achieve, you know, multiple top eights at all the events he goes to is phenomenal. And every single time, I was always hyped for him. And I was always happy because he was working hard, traveling, putting in the work and getting the results. You know, I definitely wish that I did that. I wish I traveled a little bit more. Um, obviously, I was incapable of certain circumstances, but now that I'm in a little bit of a better place now, I could travel a lot more. Um, but I was hyped every single time and I want to gather the hype from every event and put it into one. <laughs> I was really hyped and, you know, I remember him telling me like, Man, like people are telling me that they're happy for me that I'm making all these events and you know I'm placing all the time. And I remember a lot of people were talking about Nam. Nam was hot shit. Nam is a great player, and I hope to see him do much more. I was just happy for my boy just making it, you know. And if he could do it, who I play with on a regular basis, and you know we go back and forth, uh, depending if I'm salty or not, then I could do it too. He told me if that isn't enough, he told me to bring up the moment where he did. Uh, <laughs> the time stone glitch or not the time stone glitch the time stone infinite combo where you keep tagging and tagging and tagging when you have time stone he did it on ronin healy and he did it in tournament and fucked him up it was funny he told me to bring that up i'm just throwing that out there he was like eric i think that's stupid you shouldn't bring up all the moments where i made top eight just bring up the time where i did the time stone infinite on someone <laughs> i'm just just letting you guys know 2018 was a very crazy year for marvel vs. capcom infinite I really feel like it brought a lot of hype back into the game, but in that same regard, I feel like it didn't. The reason for that is for obvious reason. With that being said, if you can, if you enjoy this game and you support it, I hope you continue to enjoy it and play the game. I definitely want to see everyone at Frosty Frostings that's going to make it out there. I'm going to be out there. I'm going to continue to support this game. It sucks to think that people really are out there thinking that Marvel's Capcom or the community is non-existent we're still here making content i'm doing my best don Khan's doing his best everyone here is doing their best to support this game in any way that they can and i definitely don't think that some trolls even though they're not going to go away and that's fine they have their own opinion they're not going to go away hopefully that doesn't discourage anyone from wanting to get into the game i definitely understand there's a lot of memes it isn't in the best place but if you like it then you like it and if you don't then you don't but that is going to be it for today's video and as i do every single video guys i got some questions for you what are some of the hypest moments for marvel vs capcom infinite in 2018 for you do you agree with my moments are there some moments i missed are you hype for the fate of two worlds ending at combo breaker let me know in the comments below guys i definitely would love to get your opinion on this let me know blow it up also i'm going to leave my twitter and everything all my social media outlets in the description below so you guys could check it out go give your boy a follow and thank you as always for supporting the channel until next time my name is winster this is of course the average fighter and i will check you guys out later